the path. I'd love to tell you that I jumped onto a highway and I exited at uh, an exit that said wedding planner, event planner. I'd love to tell you that. The one thing that I, I want um, the young to realize, or people coming up, that it doesn't always take money, um, but it takes more of the attitude um, to get ahead. I was in first year university, and some friends of mine said, oh, you'd make a really good, great waiter. So I went down, applied for a job. First one I saw, uh, one of 50 applicants, and I was so thrilled to be hired that I said, you can, I'll do anything that you need me to do, which of course meant starting in the dish pit. Without a college degree, I didn't have a whole lot of other options, but I also like working with people. And um, this seemed the perfect fit for me. There were lots of stops and detours along the way. It was a, it was a journey. It was an adventure. Um, there were mis career mistakes along the way. There were some jobs that I tried that, you know what, I really didn't like. I dishwashed, I bus tables. I hosted, I cocktail waited, I finally had the opportunity to train as a waiter after about a year and a half. And, uh, and then I waited tables all through university. The path I took to where I got today was back in the days of the Fremont Southampton. I started there and um, I actually never thought of being a owner of my own business. I actually was aiming to be a general manager. I started off at the front desk. Um, I stayed there for a year and a half, and then I got a promotion to a guest service manager. Uh, meantime, I was staying in school. I was at Stonington Beach Hotel. Um, I did the actual hotel school, the actual training course. Um, I got a scholarship for four ways in. I never really thought that I was getting into hospitality consciously, but of course, most businesses eventually here lead to hospitality. I think that the one thing about service industry and hospitality is you get to deal with people, um, whether they work for you, with you, or just the customers that you serve. I'm working very hard on a day-to-day -day basis to um, discuss with clients whether or not Bermuda is going to be the best possible option for their um, destination wedding, for their, for their dream wedding. Hi, my name is Keith the Shields and I'm executive chef at the Cambridge Beaches in Sandy's Parish. My uh, role as executive chef in this kitchen is to oversee all aspects of running the kitchen, i.e. Food, food quality control, day-to-day -day running of the kitchen. It's quite demanding, long hours, but very rewarding in the long run. Your responsibility is almost every and anything, whether it be, whether it be paying staff, whether it be serving tables, whether it be washing dishes. You are there and you are doing everything that you can. In the transportation industry, I make sure that all of their needs are met. Uh, number one is being on time. Number two is giving them value for money. And number three, just making their overall experience wonderful. My responsibilities can be anywhere from the bar porter to the security to anything. It's, it's whatever the customer needs at that point. My name is Denny O'Connor. I'm a Bermudian with a hospitality business. My day is never boring. It changes every single day. There's nothing rote. There's nothing normal about it. Uh, it can be a day that can start at 9.30 uh, one day and finish at 6 o'clock, or it could be a day that starts at uh, 11 o'clock and goes all the way through to 12 o'clock at night, uh, and, and which you love doing it when you're here. It's, it's not about how long the days are. It's about the satisfaction you get from it. My name is Philip Barnett. I'm a Bermudian with a hospitality business. I actually, this is the, my favorite part of working at Rock Island, is working behind the counter. But it's just nice. It's a good way to connect with the people who work with me and with the customers, of course. I love working with the people. Uh, we do all charters, uh, private charters, so the people that we have on board are uh, more times than not very interesting. Why do you do what you do? I think it's before the love of it. Um, there are so many people in the world who go to their jobs every single day and meek out their living. And they turn to me and they'll sit on the back of the boat, flat, calm day, overlooking the beautiful reef, and they'll go, do you know how lucky you are? You're about the luckiest guy I know. Like most human beings, I do what I do uh, because there is a need to do what I do. I have a, a large family and um, we need to make a livelihood and uh, this is a perfect thing for us. 
I also do what I do because it uses all, it uses my gifts, uh, what I'm doing, my creativity. It is a challenge, um, and it takes the creative in mind, uh, the creative in spirit, uh, and a business acumen that, that involves not only uh, a, a great work ethic, but uh, somebody who's ready to sacrifice whatever you can in order to move forward. Well, I do it because I love it. As you can see, it's absolutely beautiful out here. Um, I feel that I have the gift for the gab, and so when it comes to doing charter sailing and snorkeling and things of that nature, um, my personality certainly lends itself to that. I would be lying if I said it's, it's doing uh, no more than putting bread on the table. It's, it's allowing us to, to get ahead and, and to, uh, to be successful. It's an old-fashioned word that never goes out of style. Love and passion. I love this industry. I love people. I'm Ginny Masters. I am a Bermudian with a hospitality business. Coming up in the, back in the Fremont days, changing moments into memories was what it was all about. Um, and I really stuck to that. Um, no matter what, what I come across, I, I stick to that motto. And I'm like, you know what? I can change your moment into a memory, and it's beautiful. I get back the joy of knowing that I've made someone's vacation. I've helped to, to help them get value for money when they came to Bermuda. This, this really wasn't what my career choice was when I was a 15, 16, 17-year-old kid. I fell into the industry, and uh, I just thought it was going to be a part-time job through university to get some good, quick cash. And it turned out to be a, you know, now a 42-year-old man with a 22-year love affair with the hospitality industry. The hospitality is never going to die here in Bermuda, so why not be a part of it? This is yours. Come back. Take it over. Where are you, <laughs> you know? Um, why have you left? Why have you abandoned your island? Why have you abandoned our industry? This is ours. Take it back. I do it for the people. I do it for myself and my family, and I can't imagine really doing anything else now. <laughs> I'm Lisbeth Outerbridge, a Bermudian with a hospitality business. You can be more successful in Bermuda as a Bermudian than anywhere else in the world if you work as hard as anybody else in the world does, and that's really what it comes down to it. Built up a lot of memories, and uh, we've met some great people, and uh, it's absolutely Bermuda at its best. You don't find this other places. I've dove all over the Caribbean. Bermudians, when they're at their best, they're the best. Smile, we ain't got nothing to lose. Smile, let's smile.